What I want to talk to, to you guys about today is how to create an aligned social media strategy for your virtual assistant business. I know for a lot of VAs, when they're just getting started, they are overwhelmed by how many strategies there are out there for virtual assistants, how many different platforms there are. I mean, at some point we feel like we're supposed to be on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn and in all the places all at once. And at a certain point it can become a real time suck and it um, takes having an aligned social media strategy to really see results. So today we're gonna dive into how to choose the right platform for your virtual assistant business marketing, how to decide what kinds of content to post, and then how to reevaluate over time if your current strategy is working. So that's what we're going to dive in today. Um, go ahead and drop in the comments right now if you are listening. What is your current favorite platform for marketing your virtual assistant business? Um, I know for me, one of my favorites has always been Instagram, but I know a lot of people are kind of shifting the way that they're marketing right now. And I'd love to see where are you guys loving marketing right now as far as social media? Are you really into Facebook? Are you really into LinkedIn? or is Instagram your jam? Let me know here in the comments. Oh, my name is Sharon Nissen. I have been a virtual assistant now for almost five years. And a couple of years ago, I launched the Support Squad, which is a podcast and membership community for virtual assistants, where I teach VAs the tools and strategies and systems that I have used to build my own successful virtual assistant business. So it's my mission to help um, VAs build happy businesses. That is my ultimate goal is happy businesses. So that is so much of what we're going to talk about today is how to create strategies in our business that not, don't just bring us revenue, but also feel really good to us. So, um, to start, let's talk about why having an unaligned strategy can be really damaging. Um, the biggest thing when we're a new virtual assistant is trying to figure out the best ways to spend our time. And you know, we're, we all have busy lives, you know, there's so much we have to do to build a business. And when we spend too much time with unaligned strategies, we're missing out on the opportunity to focus on revenue generating activities for our business. And if we start to develop all these scattered, unaligned, um, strategies, we're not going to see the profit that we want to see. The other thing that happens if we're doing unaligned strategies, like if we're spending a lot of time marketing on LinkedIn when we hate LinkedIn and can't stand the things that we're doing on there, what that eventually does is help us to build businesses that aren't those happy businesses. And before you know it, we are, you know, miserable in our businesses, burnt out, and with not a lot to show for it. So I really wanna talk about how we can get a little bit more aligned in the way that we do things. So let's talk about how to choose the right platform for our businesses. Because you're gonna hear from other VAs, from other coaches, from you know Google, YouTube, Pinterest, all of these places, which strategies we should be doing. And if we listen to too many of these voices, eventually we're going to be dabblists, you know, trying out everything, but never getting into the groove with a platform that really makes sense for us. So what we have to ask ourselves to start with is, is this platform something that I like? And I actually think that um, this question that we ask ourselves is one of the most important ones when we're choosing a platform that we want to focus on for marketing our virtual assistant business. Um, I was just on a coaching call on Monday with members in my virtual assistant community, the support squad, and so many of them were talking about how they felt that they had wasted a lot of time in Instagram in the beginning. And not that they didn't believe that Instagram wasn't a good strategy for some people and that some people weren't seeing results, but that it didn't feel aligned for them, but they felt like they were supposed to do it. And so think of all of that time spent, you know, for months, you know, building up, building your followers 
followers, you know, coming up with content, all of that time spent where you could have been spending that time in more aligned places like networking or on a different social media platform. So really ask yourself, does, do I enjoy this platform? Do I enjoy Instagram? Do I enjoy Facebook? Um, I know some of the girls in my group were saying that Instagram could be really triggering for them or really distracting. Um, whereas some of them thought Facebook was not exactly aligned with their vibe. And so just check in with your feelings as you're using these platforms. As you're scrolling through Instagram, do you find that it's actually bringing you down? and um, Or do you find that it's energizing? And if you feel that energy from a platform, that is a good indicator that it's a great platform for you to be on. So then the second important class question you need to ask yourself, and I, I would say it's almost equally as important as that first one, is, is my ideal client on this platform? Um, because if you waste a lot of time on platforms and you're not getting in front of that ideal client, you're not reaching the right people for your business, ultimately it's not going to be the best place for you to be. So you really want to uh, do some research before you dive all into a platform and be like, what kinds of people hang out here? So if you are focusing on brick and mortar businesses, more um, professional people like real estate realtors or um, you know lawyers, things like that, you might want to go to LinkedIn for that um, that type of audience. If you want to work more with creatives and um, other coaches and things like that. Instagram is definitely the, the place to be. And Facebook, we see a lot of crossover between Instagram and Facebook, um, especially right now. But, so it really comes down to, is my ideal client there and do I enjoy the platform? So once you can really get a gauge on um, if it's worth your time to be spending there, then you can start moving forward with creating that aligned strategy. So. The other thing I think it's really important to ask yourself is, can I be consistent with this platform and with this strategy? Can I show up week after week right here? Am I going to get bored with this? Is it going to get overwhelming? Um, do I know tools that can help me automate on this platform to allow me to be consistent? So start to think about some of those things and make sure that wherever you are, it's somewhere that you want to be for the long haul. because. When we're building these um, platforms for our business, it's a lot of investment of time and energy that we're putting into that. And we wanna make sure that we can sustain whatever strategy that we're using long, long term in our businesses. So the next part is super important. We're gonna talk about how do we create content that feels aligned? How do we create it in a way that doesn't leave us feeling burnt out and discouraged and um, like annoyed? It takes some time to figure out how to do that. So one thing I wanna make sure that you're doing with your content um, is that you're never posting just to post. You wanna make sure that there is strategy behind whatever it is that you're doing online. So I just saw a, um, hang on, did I just lose Instagram? One second. Instagram, are you still here? Oh, there you guys are. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Sorry, Instagram. Let me give a wave to everybody. <laughs> Hi, sorry, I, I cut off for a minute there. But um, so one, I saw a quote the other day that said, um, content without strategy is just stuff and that's so true we don't want to be putting stuff out that's just more stuff that's more noise you want to make sure that whatever you're posting online that there is intention and strategy behind it so to make sure that your um your social media strategy is intuitive that it is in line that it's all relevant to your business and that it's going to move the needle forward you really have to take some time in reflection and um and spending some time with yourself to create the stories that you need to tell in order to be, get people interested in your services so you really have to ask yourself whatever platform you're using what is the goal here am i here to just like get visible and um, and maybe provide value to people? Am I here more to, to really sell? You have to think about that because it's gonna shape the kind of content that you're gonna create. And then what I recommend doing um, 
this, I, this is this is what I recommend doing because I see so many people get frustrated um, day to day and then they're like I got to get some kind of piece of content out and you can tell that they were like I have to get content out today so I just need to post something and they post something that isn't aligned with their business that isn't going to help them move the needle forward it's just more stuff out there in the world so I really recommend that you take time to batch out your content for whatever platform that you're going to be working on and so what I recommend doing is taking a look at what signature services do I really want to sell this month do I have an open spot available for a new retainer client what kinds of transformations am I really seeing with my clients right now so take a couple of hours each month to really get in that headspace of diving deep into the into the content that you're going to create so that you're not just putting out fluff and so that you're not just putting more stuff out in there into the world but you're creating content that's going to connect with your ideal client and really move the needle forward in your business so what i recommend in order to do this because sometimes it's like okay but how do i even get into myself into that creative space where i can create this content and i really recommend taking time to journal um like in the support squad membership i created um journal prompts for virtual assistants um so questions that you can ask yourself to um really take a deep dive into the transformations that you're providing for clients into the unique struggles and joys that you go through as an entrepreneur that will will um, connect with your ideal client. So taking some time to journal and dive deeper into the the deeper messages that you're trying to convey online. So um, taking some time to journal and really do that. Another great way to get inspiration to create amazing content is to spend time talking with other people. So um, schedule those coffee chats with other virtual assistants, schedule coffee chats with people that fit that ideal client avatar and spend some time talking to them about like what's important for them right now in their business, in their personal lives. And you can draw inspiration from that to fuel your content for the month and then batch it out schedule it if you can get it automated and that's gonna feel a lot better than creating some kind of like half done content on the fly so that said since we are talking about creating an intuitive social media plan maybe batching isn't your thing and maybe what i'm saying to you right now creates even more anxiety than thinking about just creating one thing a day now if that is where you are if you'd rather create a piece of content on the fly make sure that you are at least taking the time to sit down and get intentional about what you're putting out so whether you're batching it out or whether you'd rather post on the fly just make sure that you're being intentional about whatever you're you're putting out so that it will connect and land with your ideal client and it's not just another time suck for your business. Um, just think about what's going to move the needle forward. So then the last thing you kind of need to do after you've figured out what platform you want to be on, you've figured out what kinds of content you want to create, think about what you reasonably can commit to keeping up with on a consistent basis. So we hear all the time from people, you know, you need to post every day or you need to post every two days or twice a day, but really the only strategy that works is one that you can keep up with. So you want to make sure that you're not overwhelming yourself, that you're not putting too much pressure. Um, so saying like, hey, I can commit to posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know that if I do that, I can come up with great, consistent, value-packed content and that I'm not going to get overwhelmed or burnt out by that. So create that schedule and um, decide what you can reasonably commit to and then stick to it. You guys, with everything in our business, the most important thing is consistency. So posting random things on social media is not gonna move the needle forward in your business. And worse than that, it's gonna take away time that you could be spending creating in a more aligned strategy for your business that actually uh, brings in paying clients. So um, I wanna encourage you guys to really sit down and then after you've 
you know, create a strategy, stuck with it for a period of time. I'd recommend any strategy you're sticking with with your business, give it six weeks to start to really see the, the return on that time spent. Because like I said, consistency is so important. So you can't just try something out for a couple weeks and be like, I don't, I haven't reached, you know, a thousand followers yet, or I didn't get enough likes on this. People need to hear from you consistently. They need to know that you're showing up on a regular basis. So give it six weeks to two months with any strategy and then reevaluate, be like, what's been working? What hasn't been working? Um, is this platform still happening for me? What content really stuck out? Make sure you're taking time to go and look at those insights, at all the um, analytics behind your social media like um, like what kinds of content is getting more engagement versus what kinds of content is getting people to click over to your website these are things that we really have to pay attention to and evaluate on a regular basis to make sure that we're spending our time in the right places so um, I'm excited to see what you guys take away from this and I know you're going to be out there creating some super aligned intuitive social media strategies that feel fun for you that you can be consistent with and that will bring you those dream clients. Um, so thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you all next Wednesday, same time, same place. So thanks so much you guys.